Tonight we're going to take a look at the turntable in the Curtis Mathis combo unit from the estate sale. And you can hear the motor running and the needle appears to be some activity. But this is really, really stiff. So the first thing we're going to try and do is uh, get this off and uh, clean and lubricate. So it looks like it looks like uh, I don't see a clip here so we'll try and kind of work this off, kind of warm it up and get the grease loose. Maybe we could uh, put a light bulb on there for a while. Okay, so we got the uh, we got the platter off and there appears to be a lot of dried crust in here and the, the roller is hard as a rock. I mean it's like not even rubber anymore. And the motor is running. But this thing is so dry that um, it's not getting any traction. So let's uh, try and look clean and lubricate this thing a little bit. Uh, we got all this dry grease here we need to clean up. What we'll do tonight to try and get it working is we'll just try and um, get the, the, the platter turning again. So we're going to uh, use a little regular unleaded here to clean the old grease off. It's going to get on the cabinet though if I, yeah. It's okay. Let's get a piece of cardboard. Okay, after we, we're going to clean this out with uh, some unleaded and then afterwards we will lubricate with our vaginal jelly. sure we get this all this old grease off of this bearing here And we also want to clean this. I don't know what this is, but it's like, it's almost like sandpaper. You know what? I might not want to screw yeah. with that. That might be a coating that someone put on there. Oh, make it, make it run better. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to clean this old sticky grease off of here with a little unleaded. That looks pretty good. Give it a little test here just to make sure that we're So yeah, that uh, feels pretty good. Now we will apply a small little bit of vaginal, it's kind of spilled some there. Just a little bit of this personal lubrication.
you can pause it. I need to. So it's. Uh, Quite a bit different than when we took it apart. That um, idler wheel is really tired. It's really hard. Let's see if we can soften that up with some unleaded. Uh, pause that and I'll pull it back apart. Okay, I've cleaned it up as best I can, but it's just it's as hard as a rock and it's obviously got a hard spot, a flat spot in the roller. Okay, well we got it working, but As you can hear, that um, that idler wheel is just completely um, wait for it to stop motorboating. That idler wheel is just completely got a flat spot and worn out, and it's it's not getting good and very good grip at all. So it needs the idler wheel rebuilt or a new idler wheel. But we can get a uh, record and see how it sounds. I also lubricated the motor and the idler and I didn't lubricate the mechanism for the reject because I have to pull it out of the uh, out of the cabinet here and there's really no reason to do that with the idler wheel in the condition it is. I have to see if I can find one. How do we know? Okay, there we go. Another one of these. So, you want some Bee Gees? Let's try this. Huh, it didn't look right, did it? <laughs> LPs. Seventy eight. Yeah, but I think the needle feels okay, but it uh
Boy, it's almost hard to turn that off. I've never heard BG sound so good.